Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to my WWE Night of Champions 2015 prediction video with yours truly, the best one, MTK, or some of you may know me as a tragic one, tragedy. So let's hop into it, guys. First off, we have a match which I'm truly not really looking forward to. Um, but then again, it's a pre-show, so if you guys want to watch it, you can. If you guys don't want to, well, you're not going to miss much. It is going to be Neville Blue's Dragons taking on the Cosmic Wasteland, Stardust, and the Ascension. Now, I don't really like the Ascension. That's just me. Um, however, I believe that <clears throat> they will lose against the heroes um, known as Neville and Lutz Dragons tonight. Um, Stardust has just been going on the down low and uh, they need to put him in a tag team and I don't really like the stable. So um, <laughs> that's just my, my own point of view on it. I want to know your guys' point of view down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, not just of my predictions, but let me know your predictions and then I'll show you out whoever's the closest, like how many people were the closest to um, my predictions. Um, I will show you on my next uh, pay-per-view video. And uh, yeah, so um, <clears throat> next we have a match um, with the soap opera. <laughs> it's going to be Rusev versus Dolph Ziggler. And of course, Summer Rae is in the corner of the Bulgarian group. Now, um, I don't really like what they're doing. Um, however, it is working out. It is kind of entertaining. Um, and, you know, Dolph will pick up the win, I believe. Um, it will get Rusev fired up because Dolph's going to keep going um, and trying to flirt with Summer Rae until Lana comes back and then she'd be really vulnerable thinking that she's with Dolph. But in reality, Lana will come back and attack her. And that's why things wouldn't go on. Um, so it's going to go on for a bit longer. And then we're going to see Lana return and it's going to be awesome to see. Then we have a Divas match, which I am looking forward to because Charlotte's in the match, and I want Charlotte to pick up the win. I've said this almost every prediction video. I hate that Nikki's a champ. Um, I don't hate Nikki, per se. I just think the, the title and the championship um, is just getting stale on her. Um, yet, you guys know I'm a big AJ fan, and she broke the record, sadly. But, you know... Now I think her time's up, and basically this match, no disqualification, no championship um, advantage. Um, if she gets disqualified, if Brie interferes, whatever happens, Charlotte will pick up the win and Charlotte will become the new WWE Divas Champion. Cannot wait to see that. Next we have a match with the New Day! Ladies and gentlemen, the New Day will be taking on the Dudley Boys. And I want the Dudley Boys to pick up the win. However, I like both teams. I'm loving the New Day. They're so funny. Um, now, they came here, Montreal, um, two days ago, and they were just, they were awesome. Um, <clears throat> and so were the Dudley Boys. So was everyone that came. I'm just in the WWE mood, and I cannot wait to see it tonight at the Night of Champions pay-per-view. So I believe that the Dudley Boys will come out on top. However, this might not be the Cates. Um, most of you may disagree with me on this one. Um, but I just don't want the New Day to continue being the champs. Uh, they already have it twice. It's good enough, guys. Um, but if they do pick up the win, I still think they're going to go through a table. Either way, I believe they're going to be going through a table tonight at another champions. Um, but yeah, I believe that uh, the Dudley Boys will come on the top in this one and become the new WWE Tag Team Champions. And they will become the 10th time Tag Team Champions in this amazing pay-per-view that we see every year, Night of Champions. So um, then we have the United States Championship match uh, between John Cena and the one, the only, Seth Rollins. As John Cena kind of said, listen, I want my championship back. So I'm going to face you and I'm going to get it back. Um, and Seth Rollins is going to have two matches tonight, but we're not there yet. Sorry if I hit the mic there. My bad. But yeah, um, I believe that John Cena will pick up the win, will get the U.S. championship. And um, then I'm going to talk more about what I think is going to happen with Seth 
in the uh, main event. But, you know, I believe John Cena is going to pick up the win um, and get his championship back. Um, I don't know. It might happen where either Triple H screws him over, uh, Seth, or Kane. Kane can come back and be like, listen, the authority, you kind of screw me over. So I'm going to screw you over too. I'm going to make the man no longer be the man because the monster came back and took everything away from him. Um, but yeah, either way, I believe John Cena will come on top. Then we have the Intercontinental Championship match between Kevin Owens and Ryback. Now this match, I like... However, I don't really like that it's Ryback. I love Kevin Owens, and he's going to do an amazing job. We saw his homecoming two days ago when he came to Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I'm a Kevin Owens fan. He's my favorite guy right now. He's just, he's awesome. I want Kevin Owens to pick up the win um, and become the new Intercontinental Championship champion. Excuse me. I believe he deserves it. He deserves a championship um, that he can hold in WWE, um, and it's not the WWE NXT Championship. I believe that he deserves it, and I don't believe Ryback deserves it much more because, honestly, if you want my honest opinion, in Montreal, he wasn't that good. Um, Seth Rollins versus him was a match, champion for champion, and honestly, it just seemed like the exact same match that we saw um, when they went against each other last time. I just want something new, and I want something fresh, and I believe Kevin Owens is a person to grab that championship and make it go far. Then we have... A match with a lot of controversy, a lot of people saying, who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? It's going to tag up with Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. As Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns and the mystery partner go against the Wyatt family, Brock Strowman, Bray Wyatt, and Luke Harper. Now, <clears throat> I've been going through a lot of names too. I've heard a lot of people say The Rock, just stupid little things, call the... And like, listen, um, <clears throat> I've seen their first ad. I saw... And it fits perfectly. There's only one person that can really, honestly, get that man to fall. And that's a man that needs to end his day. If you know what I mean, if you guys didn't get that, the end of days. Yes, the Lone Wolf, known as Baron Corbin in NXT, could be making his debut tonight. And maybe even potentially attack both Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Causing there to be a whole controversy with that match uh, come Monday Night Raw, and then he just goes in the heel thing like he's doing in NXT. Perfectly solved right there, and you already have a rivalry coming up with them if you do that. Obviously, I'm not saying join the Wyatts, I'm just saying after the match, maybe attack them if they pick up the win. Um, the Wyatts, that is, if the Wyatts pick up the win, and then Baron Corman attacks Roman Reigns as well as Dean Ambrose, there you go. There you go. That's that's how you do it. Um, a lot of people also said Eric Rowan. Um, that is a definite possibility, but I'm going to go with Baron Corbin on this one. Um, you know, they keep saying the future is now, and Brooklyn, NXT Brooklyn was insane. Just awesome. An awesome pay-per-view. Um, and <clears throat> it stole the show. Bailey and Sasha stole that weekend. And now they have a Iron Woman match coming up in next uh take over which i am truly looking forward to um but yeah i mean like it's just the future's now and i believe baron corbin is the man to bring up at this moment um let me know what you guys think definitely with this one let me know who you guys pick as the mystery opponent uh put it with all your predictions and now we have the match the legend known as sting the icon the vigilante the man that you see on your screen right now, even though I'm using a new system right now. Now, let me know what you guys think about this. It's called Wii Video or Wii Movie. I forgot what it's actually called. I didn't label it. But yeah, it says it says that, and uh, it's, it's good. It's on my phone. It's really easy to get out to you guys. So let me know what you guys think about this. I know the, the photo's kind of shit <laughs> um, in the beginning. I don't know if you guys liked it or not. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think about this new system too. I might be using it a bit, uh, my laptop, you know, it's all good. But I want something new and fresh, and there will be more videos coming out, especially WWE 2K16, guys. I know I haven't been keeping up really, but there is a video that's going to just put everything into perspective really, really soon. So, stay tuned for that. But anyway, 
back into uh, the the thing at hand, which is Sting versus Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now, I think that Sting will actually not come out on top, guys. This is what I think is going to happen. I think Triple H is going to end up screwing over Seth. Like I said before, it could happen in the John Cena match where Kane comes out. Or Kane can even come out here and try to potentially screw over Seth. However, he might have to hit him, causing Sting to lose and causing Seth to get the championship still in his possession. However, I believe Triple H is going to end up attacking him eventually. I don't know if it's yet, but you can kind of see and you can kind of hear once um, Triple H is talking to Seth all the time now that um, he wants to do something. He wants to make sure that he's not the man. Just show everyone he's not the man. Um, so we think and we know that that's probably going to be at WrestleMania 32. However, um, 32, yeah, I'm right. But yeah, 32 in Dallas. Um, but you know, I just... We need some build up, and I believe now is a perfect time to um, to hit that, you know, uh, whether it's with Kane, whoever it's with. Um, and then we can see Sting go against The Undertaker, perfectly solved. There you go. Um, everyone wants to see that? It could happen. Both of them are in the WWE, and it can perfectly be done um, if you just do one little teeny weeny thing, and uh, there you go. Then problem solved. Um, so I still believe that Seth will come on on top. However, I don't think it's going to be a clean win. Um, and yeah, and maybe if Sting does pick up the win, I still don't think he's leaving with the championship. I believe Sheamus will cash in and he will get the championship around his waist. However, I don't want that either because I don't like Sheamus right now. He looks like shit. He, I, I just, I, I don't know. I've, he's getting really, really stale for me. Um, but yeah so let me know what you guys think of all my predictions down below um and yeah you know just let me know your predictions like this video comment on this video like i say all the time and subscribe to your truly the best from mtk now i've hit over 400 subscribers and i love it keep going guys if we have 500 uh by the end of the year i will be beyond sad and satisfied and you guys can just like um you know there will be a q a there'll be all sorts of stuff if we hit 500 and beyond um i want a lot of subscribers on here and uh, thank you all for that but um yeah so it's coming really close to the end of this video hopefully you guys like comment and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys on my next video but don't be sour raise your hands and feel the power of the new day anyway guys definitely go to wwe network if you guys are not subscribed to it get it do it it is worth it it's 9.99 for you guys in the u.s if you guys are not in the u.s i don't really know but if you guys are here in montreal or canada for that matter it's 11.99 pick it up it is worth it you guys gotta get it so with that i will see you all on my next video but don't forget also to check out all my info down below i'll be tweeting live with like all sorts of tweets just all sorts of uh insight about what's happening in night of champions um tonight and that's at the best one mtk uh the best one mtk um so just it'll be down below just sub subscribe to me then go follow me then do, do anything you guys want but you guys need to stay tuned with me so with that i'll see you all on my next wait for it video guides